Hello everyone! Today's video is a continuation of the Wicked Whims mod installation tutorial. In that video, I showed you how to download, install, and enable the Wicked Whims mod. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add the animations so that you actually gain some functionality with the mod and get the most out of it. I do want to give a warning that while this video itself will not contain graphic content, by following this tutorial, you will find yourself on websites that do have graphic content. So, proceed with caution. So before I have you go to the Wicked Whims page, I want you to type in loverslab.com slash register slash and the reason I'm having you do this is because a lot of the animations you're going to find will be on Lover's Lab, and you can't download them unless you have an account. The account is free, um, so just go ahead and do that before we move on to the next part. Now that you've created your Lover's Lab account, you can search for Wicked Whims, and click on this wickedwhimsmod.com link, and you can download from either this button or the download button at top. And you'll see that this is where you downloaded the mod itself. But if you scroll down, you'll see that each of these is a creator who provides animations that are compatible with the Wicked Whims mod. You'll have to go through each of them to see what type of content each creator offers. And I do want to warn you that when you click on these, you will be redirected to sites that show graphic sexual content. As you're downloading these animations, you'll notice that there are a few different file types. Zip files will be one of the common ones you see, but there's also a RAR file type. I don't know if that's actually how you say it. It's .rar. And with those file types, you'll need a special program to basically extract those files so that you can use them. I won't be doing those today. I will be showing you how to handle the zipped files. If you would like a tutorial on the other file types, please let me know. So I'm gonna give you a tutorial using this one as an example. So I do have my screen a bit um, minimized so that there's no graphic content visible for the purpose of this video. But if you scroll down a little bit, there will be this download this file button on the right. If you don't see that button, you should see something that says you need to log in to download this file. Go ahead and make sure you're logged in to your Lover's Lab account. We are downloading this from Lover's Lab. So go ahead and click download this file once you do that. And you'll see that there are zip files. I'm going to go ahead and grab this most recent one from April 12th and hit download. Once again, downloads in Chrome show up here, downloads in Edge show up here, but they're always available in your file explorer. So you'll pop that open, scroll down to this PC, find your downloads, find the file you just downloaded, in this case it's the Amara animations. It is a compressed zip file. In order to use this, you'll right click, hit extract all. A new folder will be created at this location in the downloads, which is good because it'll be right there where we need it. And since it's midnight, it moved it to tomorrow. <laughs> But anyway, you'll have this new file folder rather than the compressed zipped. It won't have a zipper. You'll click on that new folder, hit control C to copy it, and then you'll have to find your game files. So for me, that's under documents, electronic arts, the Sims 4, and then once you're in the Sims 4 folder, You'll need to go to the mods folder. If there isn't one, you'll need to create one in the new folder. Actually, that's just my spiel, but if you've already installed Wicked Whims, you should have that. 
Once you enter the mods folder, you'll hit control V to deposit this file folder here. Once again, as in with installing other mods and things like that, you'll need to go into the file folder and make sure that you're only keeping the actual mods or things that you're trying to install. You'll see that this is a text document. You don't need that. Delete it. These package files, those are the mods, the, the animations themselves. So you'll want to hit Control C to copy. Head back to the mods folder and then hit Control V. I already have this, so it might ask me if I wanted to replace them. So now you'll see them in your mods folder. And you can go back and delete that original file folder. Click on it and hit delete on your keyboard. And that's all you'll really do for each of these. They will now be usable within your game. So that's all. Good luck. Happy simming, and uh, let me know if you have any questions or what you would like to see next. Alright, thanks so much.